it's like to say the civil servants that wrote that speech actually received 10.5% of a wage increase in the last few weeks. That's probably more, their increase is probably more than a lot of the SMEs I'm representing here today will achieve in profits. For the courage and the conviction of opening up a business in small parts of rural Ireland. Small businesses that employ people who can fit in a few hours in their job working life. You know, it's not, it's not good enough that we don't have a senior minister here. And I'm sorry you've been thrown in at the deep end to read a speech that you had no recognition of at the start of this. We're representing every region and rural part of Ireland here today, as well as the urban centres, who are struggling, struggling. And it's not good enough that we have government playing politics. We have Fine Gael leader and Taoiseach saying, Leah Radcliffe saying that, of course, we can operate a split system of VAT, but it falls to the Fianna Fáil minister, Michael McGrath, to do so. So don't play politics with people who are struggling. Tonight, you're nodding your head here all morning with us and what we're saying, and I concur with all my colleagues, but you'll vote against this tonight. You'll vote with your party, because that's what happens when we elect party politicians in this country. They're elected by their constituents, the struggling SMEs on the hospitality side, and the hairdressers and the beauticians. But you come up here, and what do you do? You forget about your constituents. You vote with your party, no matter how detrimental it is. But the two individuals beside you get their 10% increase. So do you and so do I. I don't want it. I want government to do their job. I want them to support the SMEs, reduce the VAT rate, because what you're doing currently is making oligarchs out of everybody that has decided to buy up every derelict building in the country, turn it into an iPass centre and be paid millions for doing so. You haven't supported the nursing homes in the same way. They're closing in order to try and attain that oligarch money that government are providing. You've ruined the accommodation sector of rural Ireland who support these SMEs. And on top of that then I'm getting letters for people who are in Airbnb who feel that the regulation policies you're bringing in through registration will put them out of business. You're trying to force them to become rent, long-term rental properties for which they are not suitable. So I'd ask you, Minister, if nothing else, take that back to the Cabinet, to your government, to tell them that won't work. All they will do is close down the Airbnbs who do support the SMEs in order for them to be sustainable. They support their neighbours by making a menial living, small profits, and all they're asking the government to do is to keep them viable and sustainable by one, reducing the VAT rate, which would be fair, and two, by actually increasing the threshold of which the employer pays the payer side. There's nobody in this regional group who doesn't agree with an increase in the minimum wage or with a little more benefit when it comes to sick pay. But why level it at the SMEs? Why not use some of the money that you're gaining from the corporation tax to pay for it yourselves? Why, or was it that you had to raise an extra half a billion for the children's hospital that was originally to be two and a half, 250 million? We're now at two and a half billion. And we're years late and it's not a service and it's unbecoming of anybody to sit in government on that side of the house and tell SMEs that they are not worthy of a minister to sit a senior minister, excuse me, I'm not denigrating you as a minister, but a senior minister of trade and enterprise or of finance to come in here and listen to the people who are representing the actual constituents who elected them. That's what we're doing on this side of the House. We're working with the people who are struggling in the businesses who provide employment for a little over 99% of the working people in Ireland. And I am very aggrieved for them today that yesterday, and I'd like to extend my best wishes to Deputy Paul Kehoe, who's not going to run in the next election, but after his statement yesterday on local radio in Wexford, I don't think there'll be too many in tears. He said that this required a budget. This menial measure of reducing the VAT rate by 50%, because that's what you increased it by when you put it up, 
had to be done in a budget. 21 years he spent in the House and he hasn't learned that it doesn't need a budget because you did it last week when you, when you did it with the warehouse tax. I'd ask you, Minister, to seriously consider and bring it back to government. We don't accept your amendment, Thank but you, I'd Deputy. ask that ye, on behalf of the SMEs, Deputy. accept this motion for the people and SMEs. Deputy Fitzpatrick.